take me back to the day The day that I gave my heart away Anxiously waiting to give you my name A second ten minutes fade And you came walking my way Everything starts and everything changed When you came walking my way Oh I knew I'd found the one I love The rest of my days When you came walking my way So steady. I'm gonna live my life to keep the promise. So here you both are. And each of you, Nate and Anne, been looking for each other for a long time. Maybe since the first day the thought crossed your mind, who will I marry someday? Didn't even know each other's names or faces at that time, but that someday has arrived. Who is it that gives this woman to be married to this man? Mother and I do. Okay. In the times that we've talked and just learning about your relationship, how you met, how you work at growing your relationship, not just maintaining it, but helping it to flourish. Uh, I get to those, at the end of those couple of phone conversations, and it just made me smile because I think about how captivated you are with each other. And that, that's what brings a smile to my face. For those of you who don't know, or need to be reminded, the story of Nate and Anne, that this has been a long distance relationship that's gone on for close to three years. Anne living in New York City and Nate in Boston, which four hour train ride, not counting getting to the station and all the logistics, but it's all explained in the spreadsheet. <laughs> Uh, the master calendar. You met on January 24th, took a few days to think about it, had another date, what, around Valentine's Day, somewhere around there. The spreadsheet starts March 6th, 2015. And there is an itinerary listing for every single weekend, not missing a weekend, 
up into this very ceremony on November the 4th, 2017. And it wasn't super detailed, just very brief writings in there about planning to be together. And so, you come today to share pledges. You, you come to share these promises with each other to begin your lives joined together as one. Nate, will you have this woman, Anne, to be your wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, respect her and keep her in sickness and in health and keep yourself only unto her for as long as you both shall live? I will. I, Nate, take you, Anne. I, Nate, take you, Anne. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. And to be faithful to you alone. And to be faithful to you alone. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. And will you take this man, Nate, to be your wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, respect him, and keep him in sickness and in health, and keep yourself only unto him for so long as you both shall live? I will. I, and take you, Nate. I, and take you, Nate. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. And to be faithful to you alone. And to be faithful to you alone. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Mm -hmm. Now, the exchange of rings is much the same uh, because there are verbal promises that go with that as well, but the exchange of rings is also a physical expression of the vows that you just made. And the rings, the rings that you can view are this testimony that I made a pledge to you, to each other, as well as other people to see the rings on your fingers and they know that you have made a promise to someone in token and pledge in token and pledge of my constant faith, my constant faith and abiding love, and abiding love with this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed. And if you would take this ring, place it on Nate's finger, in token and pledge, in token and pledge of my constant faith, of my constant faith and abiding love, and abiding love with this ring, with this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. <laughs> And what remains for the two of you is to begin your lives together. So by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. And you may kiss your bride. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Hollingsworth. I was on the long road running, found my way to you. From driving rain to sunny, we made it through. You might say we were a little bit funny, but then I did I shoot, say that you do. January 2015, uh, when she started telling me about this really cute guy from Boston that she had met at a work event, I was skeptical. There was no way I was going to let some out-of-state guy steal my best friend, my soulmate, away. But then Nate and I met and everything changed. Your love and respect for Anne was so apparent and it was impossible not to like you. The little things that Anne always did for other people, like finding them the comfiest chair or ordering them a drink before they had even thought they wanted one, I saw you doing those things for Anne, and it won you points. And it actually still wins you points. But more than that, I saw that you knew just how special Anne is. 
you were as captivated by her as she is by you, and it made me so happy. Nate, over the years, I've gotten to know you, and I know you to be compassionate, caring, strong, and simply wonderful. Those are all the things that I wanted my best friend to have, and I'm so happy she has them. So, Nate and Ann, I think you're both incredible individuals. Together, you're phenomenal. May you live forever in love, and may love live forever in you. And toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Hollingsworth. When I see Anne and Nate together, I only feel the joy and the happiness and the excitement in their, in their future. So Anne, from that child I held in my arms, you have taken the good and you have built yourself into a strong woman and you will be a remarkable wife. Nate, I've never been so confident in another person and you'll make a remarkable husband. Say that you do. Instead of just reading the classic Corinthians 13, I prepared a few words about my sister that were inspired by it. It's hard to describe the joy that my sister has given to me throughout my life. Uh, she is kind, loving, and gentle. Anne has always been true to herself and others. She does not boast and is not proud. She does not delight in evil by putting her self-interest before the good of others. She does things for the right reasons. She is genuine and a wonderful person to know. I've never seen my sister so confident and happy to spend the rest of her life with her wonderful friend and love, Nate. There's no greater love in my life than my beautiful sister. She took care of me as a baby and made me feel like I had two moms. What a great feeling to have two times the love growing up. It's an amazing feeling as a brother, seeing my sister in love and happy. What a great step into the future and a great step for the heart. I've seen Nate and my sister in peace together, looking at each other like they were 100 years old, just understanding, no doubt, what life can and will be. The first time I met Ann, I, knew we, I really knew we had something special. She is that rare woman that every man searches for. Um, the, the beauty, the intelligence, the humor. I mean, but let's be honest. When Nate told me she liked fishing and guns, <laughs> I was like, I'm sold. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> I could never, so me and Nate would always fight and he'd always use big words. He's always smarter than me and I couldn't pronounce things. So he'd use big words and we'd get in fights and I'd be like, stop using big words. I don't know how to say that. I don't even know how to come back but I couldn't say my S's forever. And so Nate taught me how to say wasp when I was really little. So the rest of my life, even now when he comes home on Christmas, we always say wasp when we go to bed at night because he taught me that. I just want to tell everybody that I love you too so much. Thank you. Thank you.